hello good and wonderful people welcome back to the channel if you're here to subscribe please click on that red subscribe button thank you today's news nigeria is heading towards recession nigeria is heading towards recession this particular statement is coming from zainab ahmed Zainab Ahmed. Okay, stay tuned as we get into the details of today's news. The nation's finance minister, Zainab Ahmed, says the coronavirus pandemic and the falling oil prices are set to force the economy into negative growth. Ms. Ahmed made the comments after National Economic Summit in Abuja on Thursday. On the economy, COVID-19 has resulted in the collapse of oil prices, she said. This will impact negatively and the impact has already started showing on the Federation's revenues and on the foreign exchange earnings. Net oil and gas revenue and influx to the federal account in the first quarter of 2020 amounted to 940.91 billion. This represents a shortfall of 125.52 billion, or 31% of the prorated amount that is supposed to have been real to have been released by the end of the first quarter. She added that the economic contraction will multiply the misery of the poor. The crisis will only multiply this misery, she said. The economic growth in Nigeria, that is the GDP, could, in the worst case scenario, contract by as much as minus 8.94% in 2020. But in the best case, which is the case we are working on it. It could be a contraction of minus 4.4% if there is no fiscal stimulus, but with the fiscal stimulus plan that we are working on, this contraction can be mitigated and we might end up with a negative 0.59%. Okay, guys, we have, we have heard it all from the Minister of Finance. Zainab Ahmed, she's saying that Nigeria is heading towards recession. This is a very bad news. It's a bad news. If you don't know the meaning of recession, recession simply means suffering. Suffering. That's the simple meaning you can give recession. When the country is doing so bad economically, definitely there will be suffering all over the land. Suffering and depression. That's the simple meaning. And now she said that the recession will multiply the misery of the poor. The misery of the poor, not of the rich, not everybody, but the poor people of Nigeria. This is a very, very bad statement, but it's the reality. It's a bad news and it's a bad statement, but it's simply the reality of Nigeria. Remember all this while, many people have been crying, not just on that Buhari, but from Obasanjo to, to Yaradua to Goodluck and to Buhari. People have been saying, diversify the economy of Nigeria. Nobody listened. Even during the campaign of uh, Atiku Abaka and the uh, Buari, they were saying the same thing that they would want to diversify the economy of Nigeria. People told them to go away and they only voted for the APC. Diversify the economy of Nigeria so that if anything happens in the oil and gas sector, Nigeria will still be earning enormous amount of money from other sectors. They did not listen. 
remember that oil and gas revenue is the easiest way to make money in the world there is no lot of work you're doing there is no work of work just extract oil pump into different barrels and there are already customers waiting but now nobody is buying oil again a lot of countries are changing oil is now losing a lot of value in the market and now they are telling us that we are heading to recession dubai uae united arab emirates a country that has a lot of oil a country that almost discovered oil at the same time with nigeria but they have already that diversified oil do you know that oil does not make even make up to 20 percent of dubai's revenue they invested in numerous things they invested in tourism they invested in human resources they invested in real estate they invested in so many numerous things that you can think of and now even as a uh, oil is taking a big hit on the global market dubai is still making a lot of money this is to show the stark difference between a government that knows what they're doing and a government that is there to steal. Look at look at look at the federal government of Nigeria. They are telling Nigerians that recession is coming and that the misery of the poor will multiply. It's very bad. It's very bad. Okay, someone said. Nigeria's economy was already in recession before the advent of the coronavirus pandemic. What is new is that it will only get worse. Continue to deny reality. Recession is a by word. Okay, this one said, I thought we were in recession already. Okay, this one said, as expected we are already in recession i would have been surprised if she had said otherwise buari's government always breaking record negatively okay this one said everyone knows this the more reason one would have expected the government to seriously cut down unnecessary expenses and block loopholes bleeding the scarce resources now this guy made a very important point since you've recognized that we are heading to recession what have the government themselves done to protect the scarce resources that they are still getting have they reduced the salary and the all these gratuities they give to politicians have they reduced the unnecessary spending? Have they reduced the cost of governance? They can never touch the money that is meant for them. This is why I hate some of the Nigerian politicians. You have already known that we are in recession, but you continue to receive big shakes. All the loopholes in the government, you have not closed it. You are trying to aim more. How have you protected the little that you are earning? This is a stark difference between a government that knows nothing. Look at Saudi Arabia. They equally produce over 30% of the oil that the world is using on a daily basis. But they slashed the salary of every government worker. I mean high level well paying government worker. They slashed their salaries into two by 50%. The every salary of every political appointee we are slashed. Not just salary, so all these gratuities that they get, all these gratuities, all these allowance, they we are equally slashed. But in Nigeria, Shakwa, they can't do such a thing. They cannot take the money they're supposed to earn. And now this equally begs the question. What is the future of the country of Nigeria? Where is the country heading to? Where is the country heading to? Okay, someone equally said. 
So I want to equally say it. These government officials are not interested in cutting the big cost of governance, luxuries, fleets of cars, and the A's that they enjoy. All they are after is how to use this economic situation to enrich themselves through more dubious debt for untraceable services. You see? You see? Am I the one that said this? They don't want to cost the obscene cost of governance. They don't want to give up their fleet of cars that they can sell and get revenue. They don't want to quit all the luxuries that they are enjoying. The presidency don't want to sell all the unnecessary presidential air, presidential jets that can bring in more revenue. They cannot do it. And they are even asking for more debt. Who, who are going to pay for that debt? Poor Nigerians. Poor Nigerians. Okay, guys. I would love to hear your opinion on this matter. Tell me your opinion. What do you think? Whatever your opinion is, go down to the comment section and air your views. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.